Papa Toy Toy East is a decile three school in South Auckland. In 2008, the school began building a new library, recognizing that it could no longer just be a place for book exchange and acknowledging that the literacies needed for the 21st century are now much wider than they once were, the new library has been developed into a vibrant centre for learning. The, the de development of our library it probably started as a project um, four or five years ago. Like a lot of schools we were placed in a prefab library which at some stage we hoped was going to be able to be redeveloped both because of the size of our school changing and also because we had become aware of, um, of new technologies. So we, we started on that journey of, of providing some of our senior staff and myself with the opportunity of looking out as to what was out in the, in the schools. We've always believed that as a primary school, we, our role is to give children a taste, to do as much as we can um, offer, both financially and educationally, as our resources will give us, give children that opportunity to taste these different things but at the same time prepare them for what we know is their next steps at both intermediate and high school. And so all of those myriad of, of um, ingredients were, were, were going around in circles for a, for a big deal of the time. We always had in the back of our mind that if we're going to do that and put all this money into this asset, we need to staff it in a totally different way than what we were doing in the past. Which so I approached the board with the possibility of um, raising the, the stakes of the library, putting my deputy principal really in charge of that, um, that whole area, using staffing in a more creative way where we could use our curriculum release time, finding a teacher who had the ability of not only um, working across the whole age group levels, but having someone who had, who had that spark and that interest to to start from scratch with inquiry-based, um, ICT, literacy, you know, that whole new area, and, and then see if they had the, um, the interest to develop themselves. And that's where Rachel Clark came into the position. I've been teaching here at Papatoa East off and on for 15 years or so, and my background is kind of in literacy. And then a couple of years ago I took a year off to go to university and while I was there I was a bit of a, what do they call the word, um, digital immigrant. Um, at the time didn't really sort of know too much about using the internet for teaching and learning. And so I did a couple of courses at university which kind of just kicked off a bit of a spark. And what I discovered while I was there with the research that I did, which I came back and did here at school, was that although children these days um, seem to be very computer savvy and very knowledgeable about the internet and using computers. In fact, there are huge gaps mm -hmm. in their knowledge and their learning because mostly I believe they haven't actually been systematically taught um, the skills that, that they need. Uh, another part of my role is <coughs> promoting an inquiry process of learning throughout the school and we've just been starting to work on that over the last couple of years so we have developed our own um, process, it's a five step process that we work through and I bring children, groups of children into, this, into the library that have been identified as gifted or um, have high reading levels and this is what we're working on this year and I work through the inquiry process with them teaching the skills, teaching them the skills that they need to learn, things like skimming and scanning and note taking and being able to evaluate resources. Sure. I'm working with a group of Year 6 students at the moment on um, an inquiry process and we've been working on um, investigating tsunamis because it's a current topic at the moment. And we've come to a point in the process where they're gathering information and they've used some non-fiction books to do that and now we're looking at using the internet to find information. And <clears throat> from my observation, children are, you know, are quite good at sort of generating the key words or the key question they need and they'll type that into a Google search bar and the first hit that comes up usually is Wikipedia and from my observation that's what they tend to rely on um, and it's not always highly reliable and it's not always easy for them to understand as primary school students either. So we'll be, we'll be looking at comparing Wikipedia with the website such as Encyclopedia Britannica which is designed for children and is 
uh, is easier to read and easier to gather information from. And so we'll look at both of them and we're going to have a checklist that, that we'll work through and come to some conclusions about what, which website was most useful for them when it comes to gathering information. For us here, the library is still the central hub of literacy in the old traditional role in some respects. But it also has to be a place where our children can acquire all the skills that they need for digital literacy. And that means that for us, we have to make sure that as well as allowing children to uh, be aware they need knowledge and to access it, they also have to be able to retrieve and evaluate knowledge and they have to also be able to create it and that is the area I think that we're really focusing on to give our children the skills we feel they need for the 21st century. By committing to and providing the best that a well-resourced library can offer, Papa Toy Toy East School is creating the vital opportunity for its students to develop into skillful, creative 21st century learners.